been playing the ribbon. I don't fucking know, man. A little volley bear game. I don't want to keep with Olaf game. The rarest of Olaf games. The rarest of Olaf games. Indeed, indeed, a very rare Olaf game. Nowadays, I feel like it's pretty rare. Do I need flash? No, I think I just play this with resolve. It's fine. Every ribbon perma bans it. I don't know what ribbon players you're seeing that aren't banning Renekton, but I think it's quite rare to find them. I almost never see people not like I see almost never see ribbons, especially nowadays, banning uh, anything but Renekton. So you don't want to use your thingy too early here. Your axe too early. You want to make sure that you chase her. Wait, I have flash, not ghost. Why did I fucking flash like that? Kind of cringe. I'll make you flash, bro. Don't worry about it. You're you're not not getting out without flashing. Oh, shame she missed. It was a good try. Uh, this was my bad though. Um, do I recall or do I cancel her base? This was my bad because uh, I thought I'd ghost. So I, I pressed my fucking B key as if I played ghost. I don't think I kill her there anyway because she has phaser like Nimbus flash. So she's Nimbus flashes, so her flash is better than mine anyway. But like, yeah, a bit cringe because you know, whatever. Gwen was so good this game too. Uh, I think Gwen is not that good this game. I think Gwen is not that good against Kane, Riven, uh, um, Kane, Riven, Silas. These are champions that can jump into my shroud and one shot me just fine. I find that uh, that that is like that is not what he's good at. Uh, like, sorry, that is not what Gwen is good against. Gwen is good against champs with CC. Uh, sorry, with champs that can't dive into her shroud. Uh, this, <laughs> if these three champs jump into my shroud, they will one shot me unless I'm fed as fuck, right? In which case, I'm fed as fuck, and that's why it works because I'm fed as fuck. All right. Want to fight? I want to fight you. Come here. Bone plating diff. Yeah, I'm good with trading, bro. I don't mind. I just want to deny your XP. Chunk you a little bit. Now I also have control over the wave, so I can use my lifesteal passive to smack the wave a little bit. But I won't do it too much, because I beat her anyway if she jumps into me right now. She already used Ignite earlier, um, so I don't need to even try to hit level 2 fast before her Q cooldown's up. I can just continue to push slow. Slow push. You know how it is. No flash on this guy. He will he will suffer an, an, an awful death to Rek'Sai's uh, gank here if we uh, look for this. So if he just does wrap the golems into walks around here, tunnels over here, and just walks underneath her, uh, she just is a dead. Uh, hopefully he heals a little bit more, but I'm going to start pushing a little fast here because I don't want to be too slow here. I just want him to tunnel over the thing. Uh, fantastic. Uh, he might go all the way around, so I'm going to slow down a little bit. I want him to tunnel here just to be underneath the tower like so, but it's fine. Uh, either way, um, Kane did topside camps in the bottom side, so we can even just proxy together here. Yeah, just tunnel over. I want him to proxy with me. That would be good, I think. I think proxying with me would have been totally good. The reason why proxying together is good is because I don't have the tools to um, solo... Like, I don't have... Um, like, proxying together means that my Rek'Sai is also profiting from the situation, not just me. Um, and that's why, like, because he might lose bot camps for doing this, but if we're duo proxying, even though he doesn't get that much, he still gets profit. Uh, and it's... Oh my god, my victor missed that laser, so we're gonna waste even more resources chasing. That's really cringe. And we get a bad fight. Oh my god. Like, normally we should just... Oh, whatever, it's fine. I mean, I'm just gonna take the advantage and try to carry. It's fine. Alright, bye. Good to have known y'all. She's dead anyway. I, I don't know who's coming, so I'm just gonna TP instead of recall. <laughs> I'm, I ain't playing, you know? Like, fuck that. I'm not gonna die to Silas and fucking Kane coming to kill me. Peace. I've done my job here, you know? I've profited. This guy's level fucking 1 with 1 CS, and <laughs> I'm level 4 with 27, almost level 5. He's still level 1, so if I hit this Q, I will just run her down. You will. You want this cannon? You will. Oh my god, so risky, this guy. I'm dragging the minion wave with me when I'm running into the wave and fighting her like this. So that means her minions aren't actually aggroing the cannon. So that's why she didn't level up in case you're wondering. And now she has no phase rush and she has to walk through me here. So if I play this well right now, one window. No, I missed it. Uh, right there was the window before she would level up and then I would have been able to kill her. But I didn't time it well. Oh, she went Q? Bro, you have no flash. You can do that? I don't think so. Hmm. I'm I'm not sure if it's worth it. I, I forgot she could Nimbus Ignite me and kite me. I think if I if I don't get kited by Nimbus Ignite, uh, I think I can kill her and walk out with W, but maybe it's close. Maybe it's not worth it anyway. Um, if I commit to Iron Spike Whip, it can only be one of these two things. And it's probably going to be Gore Drinker because it is very good this game, but I just want to keep the options open. So the Trinity Force this game is also pretty good, actually. Uh, so is Stride Maker, honestly, so they're all good, especially when I'm this fed, so. Totally fine, I don't mind. 
I don't want to uh, play too much for uh, thingy here, uh, freeze here, so I don't want to over freeze. Uh, I want to actually actively pressure her and take plates and just make her life miserable. Always input buffer E into her combo like that, that's how you want to play it. Ah, my bad. Uh, if I hit that Q, she's dead or burning flush. Um, no in between. That's my bad. <laughs> I aimed for her flush. Talus is coming, or who's who? Like, why did a question mark ping? Because Kane don't beat me, but Talus beat me. Kane don't beat me, Talus beat me. You feel me? Level 6? Actually, maybe he beat me. Close. Oh, he's coming. He's mad. You mad, bro? He warded. That makes it a bit harder. Good by him to just walk into me like that. Like a straight line, no fucking around. Don't use your E, don't use your E. Hold your E, hold 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 E. Just keep him jailed here. Oh, I'm actually lucky I don't die there. Nice. XD. I mean, I'm down to do this wipe together, no? She has she has no flush. She can't do anything. I have W as well. I have life still, so I'm just gonna heal up. I just need to Q it once. I still have mana for W, so that's why I can Q. XD. I got a bit lucky there. But don't use E. Why? It costs health, guys. Remember. It costs health. But I knew I'd beat him 1v1 if I didn't use E. Like, in the, in the top bush. That I knew. Yeah, I was like, I'm pretty sure I beat Kane. Then he hit 6, and I was like, maybe I don't. And then I was like, nah, I'm pretty sure I do. I was just kiting for more mana to make sure that I had Q and W. Uh, and then maybe later I would get another Q if I could keep kiting. Just do It's like Mundo. Mundo also costs HP for this spell. So like a lot of the time, a lot of Mundo players will use their Q. And it's the fact that like, they use Q as the last auto is coming, and they die because of that. Uh, my W shield doesn't even fucking work, I guess. XD. Or, uh, Leona got the kill. That's pretty good. I'm here because Silas is strong, and I'm making sure we get this Herald uh, for my team by being here. He dipped? We'll see. I need my ult to beat here, to fight here. Even if I die, it is an okay death. And if Kane queues away like an absolute pussy that he is, he doesn't need not even kill me. But if he queues in, he will also die to Victor and uh, Rek'Sai, so I would just... Um. And I put both feet in the ring, and Kane only had one out, if you feel me, you know? Like, I put both my feet in the ring, and he had one half out of it, so... Of course, he will suffer, and they will die. I want Gore Drinker, because it gives me the most uh, power in one item, and then two items as well. I'll go Gore Drinker, Starax, or Gore Drinker into... Um, Gore Drinker into Shojin. Depends on how much gold I get and how strong I am in the game. I told you, 100% old gas. No flash, no no, no trickery, no E at this point. Her, she actually has cooldowns as a champion, so you can actually kill her when she does stupid shit. Looks fair. Uh, bro, if there's a matchup you can play being level 1 to 4, uh, let me know. Uh, I'll pick the champion competitive every single game. That champ must be not balanced. If you're level 1 to 4 and you can lane, like your champ must be insanely broken. Like... <laughs> Of course he's gonna suffer. The fuck you mean looks balanced? Little bro is down 3,000 experience and fucking 50 CS. If I couldn't tower dive in 1v1, that'd be an issue. What could do Riven? Uh, what could Riven do better this game? Not do the she's level one and lose her sums for a start. Maybe you know, just a thought. Anyway, yeah, uh, uh, losing your sums like this level 1 into getting trunked, like, losing your sums level 1 into recall, into come back to lane and lose your sums, uh, gen, yeah, it's gonna be pretty rough, yeah. Ooh, I wanted to Gore Drinker auto her and one-shot her, but I'm using my tools there because I, I actually just want to take this tower ASAP, I don't want to waste my time anymore. I have Rek'Sai uh, backing me up, so it's okay to do this. She needs to come first, I will just let her go first. Like, you see what I mean there? If she wants to defend this tower, she needs to go first. And if she doesn't defend the tower, I don't even care. It's like, oh, alright, bro, I wanted your tower anyway, so... I got your flash. I mean, you wanna kill me there, try. If I don't have Rek'Sai, I'd be more scared, because someone could, like, come and gank me. But if I have Rek'Sai in the back pocket, I don't need to be scared. I'm gonna TP here to participate in the game. Love me some participation of the game. No flash Silas, I'll take it. What do you want? E. Screw you. Screw you again. You wanna lose your whole health bar? Uh, I will lose, make you lose your whole health bar. I'm not scared of you. I'm not scared of you. I mean, if you CC him for me, I'll just one-shot him, by the way. Thank you. 
I don't know what the fuck that guy wanted. He kills him? Oh, a bit unlucky. Uh, but Victor's going top anyway, and he should, because I should be the one laning against this guy. Because he can't lane against me. Uh, and if Riven is strong enough to beat my Victor, then it's gameplay issue. My Victor is shit. No, that's fine. Don't want to come. Let them come. Come in, then. Come in. Come in. Yeah, I didn't think so. I didn't want to take the extra tower shots, because I knew Kane might be looking. So what I'm going to do here is just piss on his keyboard here. Hi there. Take out my willy and start doing a little... Leakage on the bottom side jungle. If he doesn't, I just smack his tower. Same idea as the Riven, remember? If he wants to defend this, he needs to go into me. If he wants to go into me, he's welcome. See, I don't mind. I have Starax as well, bro. <laughs> I have Gore Drinker active, Starax. I'm chilling. I think he should have gone all the way top to Victor to push, but it's fine if he doesn't feel like he can. Either way. If this guy doesn't go on me, uh, I mean, I'm not going on him. I, he needs to defend the tower, you know? I, I don't have the pressure to go. I'm taking the tower in his face. Did he say piss on his keyboard? Absolutely. What better way to describe Olaf walking into your bottom jungle and not letting you do anything? I mean, I guess he got a gank off bot, so I guess he did do something, so eh. Well, well, well. I didn't piss on his keyboard very well, I guess. Downside is not having ghost. If you have ghost, you can be greedier with your Qs there. I should not have been as greedy with my Q because I should have Qed Leona to make sure I can keep my ult alive. Um, whereas my idea was is I don't need to Q her because I want to- Yeah, kill this guy, kill this guy. All spells, all spells, all spells. You're dead on my screen, Silas. You can't play. Oh, you want to come and join me? Yes, come join the party, guys. You have done uh, 200 damage to me. Close. Okay. That's why it's like. That's why I said like Karthus is pretty fucking like this. Calm. Like this is the best all-up game you're gonna see in a while because uh, it's just more people joining the party. You know. Who's next? I'd like not to use my ult here, but I'm okay with using it as well. I know my tempo is bad, but there is no bad tempo when I want to fight every fight, you know? Uh, my homies might die, though. I don't die, though. So yeah, I have Serac still. I have mana for 1Q, but that means he might be able to trade here if he has ult, so I need to be careful. I can auto-attack the, the high lifesteal, though. <clears throat> I had a wave there, so that's chill. But if I use Q, I don't have mana for E, so that was something to consider. Either way, quick recall. I don't need to take this in hit mid, it gives me jack shit. Uh, and if this guy E's in, that will be a fight I am willing to take. Hello! Okay, that's a fight I'm not willing to take. Fuck, I don't have ult. XD. It'll be a bit of a struggle here. I need to kill the guy with CC first, and then I can kill everyone else, but... I will see if I can. It'll be rough. If I had ult, I'd kill them all, but without ult, I'd definitely run out of juice. <laughs> it was actually close. If I had my Starax, I would've killed everyone again. My bad. I didn't have ult. I, I, was, I was too eager. Too eager. But you see the difference between ult and no ult. Also, like, you know this number says 96? It's actually bigger than that, because uh, you get conqueror stacks. So, it's actually like, closer to 180. That's why my ult is so important. I can play one fight like this. I mean, honestly, I can't, by the way. I can't play a fight. Anyway, enjoy the icons whilst it lasts. I will play one fight with this, but, like, my eyes are actually physically... Like, my eyeballs are hurting. Like, I, I don't know why, but like, I, unironically, like, the game is just, like, I'm not playing the same game anymore, you know? Like, I don't know what game I'm playing. Nice fog jump. Anyway, that's enough. Oh, so much better. Oh, thank god. Like, oh, my head actually hurts from these icons. I'm not even joking. Like, I, I don't know what happened there. Like, I actually, I got mentally damaged or some shit. Patience with the ultimate as much as possible. The Q is good. Q is good. Very nice. You see the AD? Boom. Minus 100 and something. It's so important to use your ultimate well on Olaf. It's so important. It defines the difference between the, the good all-ups and the shit ones. Good timing on your ult. I'll try to hold the fort, but alas. Poor Karthus. Hello, brother. You having fun? I don't think so. Yeah, I mean, I'm down to end here. I have my ult soon, and then we'll just kill them. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Yeah, I mean, I'm not nostalgic enough about the, the Olaf icons to disagree that they're good, so I agree. <laughs> Kill the first target. Oh, I wasted my Q now. That's not good. I will flash to keep my ult up, and I didn't. That's really bad. I mean, it's not bad enough, because I'll still win this fight, but it is pretty bad, because, like, in the grand scheme of things, I shouldn't... I, I should never lose my ult there. That's just misplay. I used flash, and I still lost my ult. That's really bad. 
Like, it doesn't matter enough because they don't have any tools left. Like, last fight they used all spells on me. Uh, now they can't do that, so I win anyway, but it's still, like, just a bit of a waste, you know? Also, I let Driven live, which is uh, a big, big mistake. On a sidestep her shit here. I definitely want to buy time here. Have my super minion wave do some extra work. Hold the Gore Drinker. Maximum stack. Hold the W. Hold the W. Hold the W. I'm so happy that Rex actually committed to fighting with me because it's cuts Karthus' damage in half. I'm trying to sidestep the Karthus Qs here. Nice Karthus Q there. Oh, actually, his patience is really good, the Karthus. Well played. I have W, so this guy can't kill me, I think. But maybe he gets close. I don't fucking know. I don't care either. If he wants to come, let him come. I am seeking my warrior's death. They can grant it to me. Let him come. They could not grant it to me. See, look, 100, and, like, it gives even more AD when you level up to 16, so...